In a world of skepticism and realism, sometimes we catch a glimpse of something we cannot define. James Stewart Bell. Consider this story from Joyce. By the time Joyce got Ken to the hospital, he was ghost white. Nurses screamed for the crash cart, knowing he was near death. Doctors told her that Ken was bleeding internally and that intravenous transfusions were barely keeping pace with his blood loss. Hours later, a nurse sent Karen home where she managed to doze off. Suddenly, a frightening dream woke her. She was in a hospital room filled with floor to ceiling mist. Karen could see Ken slowly sliding through the misty wall and she knew if he went through, he would die. She grabbed his arm, putting one hand above his elbow and the other just below it. She was tugging with all her might, but was losing him to the mist. Karen pulled one last time and he was free. The dream was so real. Karen called and asked a nurse to check on Ken and then she rushed to the hospital. As she arrived, a doctor explained Ken's transfusion line had clogged, shutting off the blood he so badly needed. It's a good thing someone went to check on him, the doctor said. Karen looked down at Ken's arm. He had black and blue marks just above and below his elbow, in the places she had clutched in her dream. Suddenly, Karen knew. God had answered her prayers. Everyday miracles are all around you, and true stories of spontaneous healing, recovering from devastating storms, accidents, financial disasters, and more. This is just a small sample of the awe-inspiring true stories you'll find in guideposts Miracles do happen. Right from the first page, you'll see that just as God has worked in these lives, he can work them in your life. Your faith will explode and expand. Now's the time to seek God, believe in him, and prepare yourself for miracles do happen, and they can happen to you.